Now after successive rotation or successive scaling as well as successive translation, we will prove some proofs. So here is the question, prove that rotation and scaling compute. So what it means, what you have to prove? So that means you have to prove R means rotation multiplied by scaling is equal to scaling multiplied by rotation. So now what is the statement? The statements are you have to prove that rotation and scaling commutes if Sx is equal to Sy. So the conditions are given R theta is equal to N pi. Second is prove that Rs equal to Sr if Sx is equal to Sy or theta is equal to N pi. So any one statement that can be asked for uh, proving this particular statement. So you have to prove this. Now we will begin. Now if R and S are 2D rotation, those are nothing but R and S are the 2D rotations, rotation and scaling matrices. So that we can write the rotation matrix like this. This is the rotation matrix cos theta minus sin theta 0, sin theta cos theta 0, 0, 0, 1. And we know the scaling uh, matrix is SX 0, 0, 0, SY 0, 0, 0, 1. Now we will take as we know, R, we have to prove RS is equal to SR so that we can take left hand side. Here we have to prove RS into RS is equal to SR. So I will take SRS means rotation multiplied by scaling. So I have rotation matrix cos theta minus sin theta 0 and multiplied by this SX SY that is scaling matrix. Now after multiplication, I will get the matrix like this. This is multiplied with SX. So SX cos theta this is multiplied by 0 and this multiply I means cos theta multi sy. So similarly sx cos theta minus sy sin theta 0. So sx sin theta sy cos theta 0. So this particular multiplication based on matrix multiplication we have. So you can say this is nothing but the first rs we got. Now we will take the right hand side. So that is nothing but sr. So scaling matrix multiplied by rotation matrix. In first we have taken rotation matrix with the scaling matrix and in second we have scaling matrix multiplied by rotation matrix so order has been changed so is equal to so we got the matrix sx cos theta minus sx sin theta 0 si sin theta sy cos theta so if you compare first term both are equal if you compare second term those are different those are different if you compare third term those are different sy and here it is sx and in fourth term they are same means if you are, you don't have any condition then those two matrices are not equal so what is the condition first condition is if suppose sx is equal to sy so that if i place instead of sy if i place sx everywhere so what will happen so that rs will become sx cos theta minus sx sin theta 0 so everywhere i have put sx and SR will be SX cos theta minus SX sin theta 0 SX sin theta SX cos theta and now you can compare every term is equal every term is equal so this is nothing but here we can prove that uh, so that it is nothing but RS equal to SY SR if SX equal to SY so that is commutative only when SX and SY means the scaling uh, parameters sx and sy both are equal now one more condition when the sr and rs will be equal that is nothing but theta is equal to n pi now we know that sin n pi is equal to 0 and cos n pi is equal to minus 1 raised to n so we will put that values into rs as well as sr so that will become minus 1 raised to n sx 0 0 0 minus 1 raised to n sx 0 0 0 1 and then sr will become minus 1 raised to n sx 0 0 0 minus 1 raised to sx 0 0 0 now you can compare this term is equal to that term this term which is equal to that term so that both are equal when when theta is equal to n pi so hence i can write rs is equal to sr when theta is equal to n pi means as the first this is nothing but the statement that prove that rotation scaling commute if sx is equal to sy theta is equal to n pi so based on that two terms only the RS and SR are equal or the commutative otherwise we cannot say